What's up amigos, Commander Jaime here today. Today we're gonna go on like a quotes infinite uh, attack combo with Maelstrom Reverse, specifically in a Link Joker deck. I'm gonna explain how the key cards work, execute the combo, and then talk about how is this even possible? <laughs> so let's get right into it. And also for Valentine's Day, they're doing the new play mat with the new Angel Feathers on there too. It's pretty cool with Gabrielle and some of the Noceo on there too. Definitely recommend it to special someone for you. And so if you want to check out their store, check out the affiliated link and use the Commander High Mage uh, code to get a discount on your next purchase. So in this specific instance, we're going to focus on Maelstrom Reverse. So really the first skill is the one that we care about. Vanguard Circle, at the end of the battle, they regard attack. If that attack did not hit, you can actually lock one of your stand regards. And then this unit gets plus 10k until the end of the turn. And then if you have a card with Maelstrom in the... So you can retire when your regards, uh, your opponent's regards and retire. But that's not really the important part. The important part is the locking itself it's like okay so you're locking something what are you locking you're wa locking the awakened messiah on the left here so when this unit is unlocked though you can choose one of your regards and stand in and it gets plus two can to the end of the turn and so wait so you're gonna lock awakening messiah but then it has a skill when it's unlocked and it's gb1 well how do you unlock it and that's where the second card over here on the right is and so cards like Lockbreaker and then even the monk and then other cards are able to on attack choose one of your locked cards and unlock it and if you do this unit gets plus four can to the end of the battle the key component is that on attack, it unlocks Awakening Messiah, and then Awakening Messiah will stand any unit. And you can restand this Lockbreaker. And so essentially, going into more into what the combo looks like, the setup will look like something like this in this example. And so you can have the first attack, attack your opponent's Vanguard, and just do it that way, and they'll miss. And so instantly, Maelstrom Reverse will just lock this unit or any card, but you want to do this one. So the biggest thing is that this combo works when your opponent's at 5 damage. And the reason that it's at 5 damage is because they have to guard everything. <laughs> Otherwise, they'll go to 6 at that point. And so once you attack and unlock this, you'll be able to restand it. And it'll slowly get plus 2 right and so it will get to the point where eventually you will be they will be guarding and then locking and then you unlock and then restand and then repeat the process and so that's why it's in quotes infinite attacks because they have to guard until they can't guard no more you can only guard so much because the opponent has a, a hand size limit at that point so eventually you're going to hit and deal six damage and so that's the key factor and so other things that you can work around too, like, well, what happens if you're going against a disruptive uh, play? Let's say Denial Griffin or maybe Cannoneer with Grand Blue. So if you have extra copies of these, you can place them around your field. And if you do Ride Mills from Reverse, you'll get an Excel circle on top of that. So you have more room to work with that. So you can play around it too. It's not like, it can be super deadly because once your opponent's at five damage and you can go off, your opponent's gonna lose <laughs> not even the over trigger which makes their vanguard 100 million because you can do this infinitely technically until they can't guard no more right this will get plus 2k bigger every time so in competitive play you could announce that you're doing this combo infinite amount of times to speed it up quote unquote and at that point your your van uh, not your vanguard your rear is going to be uh, infinite power in that sense so not even the over trigger will stop that in that sense too so now you're probably asking, like, how is this even possible? Maelstrom Reverse is supposed to be Aqua Force, and yet you're using Link Joker cards. And so a deck with Glendios uh, actually required reverse units to be able to function. And with reverse units, as we saw, are from different clans. And so you can actually splash those reverse units into a Link Joker deck that's specifically Glendios to be able to do to use that deck in a sense, right? And so if you look at the fighter's role, like those reverse units are considered in a way Link Joker units. So you can actually even ride those grade threes even since back then. I think the biggest difference that we, that makes like, wait, how come we didn't think about this before? It's because the original reverse units usually would have Lord in their uh, skills. So shout out to Zelis for pointing that out. And Zay for also pointing this combo out to me, and I'm sure there's already word around the community about this. And also with even FX Buster with Nova Grappler, a similar type of combo, but it's just different in how you execute it for different scenarios. But I just wanted to show this Maelstrom Reverse one. So that's why you're able to play reverse units even in Lone, Jug in Lone Jugger decks. So you can actually experiment with some of the other reverse units from different clans and make a different Lane Joker deck and as a whole, <laughs> which I think is kind of cool in that respect, but I'm sure you may have some kind of synergy, but not as a, a full intended deck in that sense, but it's just one interaction that I wanted to show here until maybe they do something or like, hey, you can't do this if you're using the VCR's card or blah, blah, blah. I don't know how applicable and competitively wise this is gonna do in future events, but time will tell. And also one last tip too, like when you ride a grade three with a gift marker too, 
you are stuck with that gift. So if you write Maelstrom Reverse as your first grade three, you'll get the Excel gift. But then if you rewrite next turn with a Force Vanguard or a Protect gift um, Vanguard, nothing happens. So just so you know that, but if you write, write with another Maelstrom Reverse or another Excel Generator, you can still get Excel gifts in that sense too. So if you write, let's say, Ethics Buster, which is an Excel clan as well, you'll get the additional Excel circle and go for there, which is kind of cool. If you think about it now, Lean Joker can kind of deviate and be an Excel one or two type of deck, or it can be a Protect one, two type of deck instead of like the original Force one and Force two. So yeah. So yeah, this is a very quick video. I just want to show this interaction off. I thought it was worth showing, especially since I covered Maelstrom Reverse specifically in the premium. And also, you know, let me know what you guys think, you know, and then also if you want to mention the FX Buster loop, go ahead too. I know some people are like just barely learning this and some people are like, oh, I already knew this. <laughs> and so wherever that is, right? Be engageful and hit out for any com uh, combos that I have not mentioned too, or maybe some new discoveries with other reverse units with, with Lean Joker decks. I think that would be really cool just to see the other interactions that the other reverse units may bring to the table in that sense not necessarily like a broken quote unquote infinite loop or power loop but something that just like hey you can do this and link joker using the reverse unit i think that'd be pretty cool in sharing so thanks again for watching and if you like the video feel free to share it with your friends amigos and of course subscribes see you amigos bye